Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over the Magic 8-Ball project from Code Academy JavaScript. Number one, we're going to define a variable called username and set it to an empty string or you can enter your own name. So you're going to do let username equals empty string or you can use your own name. Number two, we're going to create a ternary expression that decides what to do if the user enters a name or not. If the user enters a name, you're going to say hello and then name. If not, you're simply going to say hello. In order to do that, you're going to write username, question mark, because the string might be empty or not, console.log, hello, and you're going to use interpolation for the username, or if it's empty, it's simply going to print console.log, hello. Let's save. So it worked. Hello, Faye. But if I leave this empty, it should print just hello. Next, number three, you're going to create a user question variable. And the value is going to be the question that the user wants to ask the magic eight ball. So let's create the variable first. Let user question equals and the question you want to ask. Will I move next year? Next, we're going to console.log the user question. And we're going to include the user's name. Console.log, let's include the username, has asked. And we're going to use interpolation again and write the user question. Let's save. Hello, Faye. Faye has asked, will I move next year? Number five, we're going to generate a random number between 0 and 7. We're going to create a variable named random number. And we're going to use math floor and math random. Let's check the hint. Math random returns a value between 0 and 1. In order to make this set of numbers range from 0 to 8, you need to multiply that by 8. And finally, we're using math floor to ensure that we're only working with whole numbers. Let's first create the variable let random number, set it equal to math.random, but let's multiply it by 8. Let's console log random number. And this is not a whole number, so we can't work with that. To fix that, we're going to wrap this around math.floor function to round down that number. math.floor, math.random times 8. And now you have a whole number. Number 6, we're going to create an empty variable called 8ball. Let 8ball equals empty string. Number 7, we need to create a control flow that takes in the random number and then assign a ball to a reply that a magic a ball would return. You can use if else or switch statements. Let's use switch random number for case zero. A ball will say it's certain. And you're gonna do the same thing for case one through seven and just copy and paste each of these replies. Number eight, you're gonna write a console.log to print the magic a ball answer. Console.log, the magic ball says, and call a ball. Let's save. Hello, Faye. Faye has asked, will I move next year? The magic a ball says, it is decidedly so. And if you keep hitting save, you're gonna get random replies each time. And number nine, if you want extra practice, and you solve this exercise using switch statement, convert it to if else. For the if else statement, you're just gonna switch. Instead of using switch, you're going to write if random number equals zero, print, it is certain. Else if random number equals one, you're gonna print the next message, and you're gonna do the same thing for two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're all done with the Magic 8-Ball project.